Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-L. Uh, today I have some awful, awful news. Um, just, I, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of expected this, but I don't know. I was being, I guess, hopeful, uh, and this is really bad news for any one of us that are into 3D printing. Uh, really bad news for any of us that are into cosplaying, uh, you know, Warhammer, any kind of thing that has to do with 3D printing and anything pretty much uh, is going to be a very big problem right now for us. <clears throat> so right now, uh, you know, I do my own models. I make my own models or I collab with people that make own models and I do an exchange. You know, I uh, 3D print them a thing and they give me their models and I 3D print it for them and I get to keep the model and do stuff with it. Or I uh, do my own modeling. But occasionally... I remember, especially when I started out, I went to this site called Thingiverse. Uh, I love Thingiverse. I used to love it. Uh, you know, I needed a hinge for my door, temporary uh, hinge, uh, till I got a chance to go to Home Depot and pick me up one of those. Uh, so I did a temporary one. This was a while back. I 3D printed it and put it on my door, and it worked like a charm. Uh, and I got it from Thingiverse. And I absolutely loved and I, and I love Thingiverse. I think it also gives me, it's like more like a muse, you know. I look at things and I, I look at it and I say, you know what, I could do it a little bit better. And I tweak things uh, or I just make a whole model of my own and I, uh, you know, uh, make it based on the muse that I see on uh, uh, Thingiverse. Unfortunately, right now, uh, there is an issue in Thingiverse. And I'm going to read it to you right now, and this is bad for the whole 3D community because this is going to sting what I'm about to say. So this guy named Zachary uh, Kav uh, Kavulich, okay, this guy's a known guy. Um, he released, uh, and I'm sorry if you're hearing this, uh, Zachary, because uh, I know I'm going to murder you. I murdered your last name here. <laughs> but uh, I want to just say thank you for all your hard work and contributions. But let me read what this brother said on Reddit to just now warn us what uh, just happened. As some of you may already know, yesterday Wargaming World Limited, the makers of uh, World of Tanks, ran through Thingiverse and DMCA'd a large portion of the tank and military equipment models on the site. Unfortunately, both I, uh, was it Tiger, uh, Tiger Agger, Ace 1945, and uh, Berg, uh, Bergman lost a huge portion of our models in the sweep. Fortunately, we still possess the files. However, it is unlikely that we will be able to reverse these DMCAs and restore the packs uh, there. While I can't entirely speak uh, for Berg, uh, Bergman, I am convinced that Thingiverse is no longer a site that I wish to associate with, and I am currently exploring other options for hosting my designs. I warn anyone who has designs on Thingiverse to check to ensure if they are still intact. And one last thing, I'm not the type of person to lecture people on their choice of entertainment, but for anyone who does monetarily support Wargaming uh, World Limited or their games, I ask that you keep this event in mind the next time you decide to do so. Maybe it's time we all uh, went somewhere uh, that's more fit for our community. Sincerely, a guy who had the audacity to give something away for free. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of uh, Thingiverse, but Thingiverse is a free site giving you th free 3D models for you guys to print. Okay, so these people, these artists, are actually taking time out of their day and making models for you guys to enjoy and to print, especially if you're beginning in the 3D uh, printing world. You don't want to necessarily make your own models because you, you don't know what is supported, what is not, how it's going to print, is it going to collapse. You have to have all these things in mind when you're making uh, uh, 3D models. In fact, I make my 3D models now with supports already integrated into them. So, you know... It's things like that that you learn as you go along, but you have to start somewhere. And it was beautiful that Thingiverse uh, was a site that gave you free models uh, for you to print. Unfortunately, now these guys uh, who own you know, a certain franchise, uh, they know that this brother's uh, tanks, for example, and everything that he made looks way better than theirs. So what do they do? They take it, you know, they go and uh, DMCA, uh, which is like, they do, it's like a copyright thing, and they prevent it from coming out. And uh, the thing is, 
I'm going to tell you something, Zachary, and to everybody in the 3D community who's turned off by Thingiverse because of this. Guys, know something. This isn't Thingiverse's fault at all. Thingiverse just doesn't want to be sued or go through the headache. Remember, they're providing a service for the community at large. And I I'm all for them. In fact, I, you know, I, I would donate to them if I had some money on me. I would donate a lot of money, and I do intend to donate to them. They're a great community, and it's not really their fault. And I don't think people should take it out on Thingiverse. When you have something DMCA'd, it, Thingiverse is not in control of that. They're basically utilizing government things to go into it and have a warrant for it and then just sweep it all around, or uh, you know, like the cease and assist order or whatever it's called. Uh, basically, that is what they're doing, and they're by force they're going on to their side and taking it now u.s thingiverse you have to understand you got to pick your battles because at large you're providing a giant service for the community at large for something that is i'm not going to say minuscule and please don't take it the wrong way zachary if you think i'm saying it that way i'm not you're amazing but the thing is they're providing a service for the you know majority like you did, but they have a lot of artists on there that are still working on parts and doing stuff, and they're releasing it also to the public. They don't want to destroy their entire thing and then give the community nothing. So they're doing something for the greater good, and sometimes you have to make decisions that, well, in this case, they were forced uh, to make that decision. So Thinkiverse is still a, you know, a good atmosphere to be in. It's absolutely great. It's just right now... You know, the, certain things, especially these uh, developers who are probably not doing well in the money markets as well as they want to or they're greedy or whatever, they're pushing to take it away. Now, this also means something extremely negative to everyone in the 3D community. Uh, what do I mean by that? Now, if you guys look, you see it all over the place. Iron Man helmet. Print it out. Uh, you know... Star Wars helmets, print them out. You know, they, they, there's artists that do it. I, I intend to one day put up my models uh, out for free at one point. I'm just not confident enough because there's a lot of issues with mine. And I'm still learn in the learning process and I'm taking it apart and stuff like that. But once I perfect it, I will start donating models like I did with the... Um, uh, with the uh, fingers I made for diabetics who lost, uh, you know, amputees, I made them uh, caps for their fingers that actually work really well, and I donated it to them and uh, uh, showed them how to make them uh, by themselves. You know, have somebody make it for them; they're cheap. Or I would send it to them. I did prosthetic arms and stuff like that. But I myself am not confident with certain parts uh, of uh, of this thing, so I need to learn more before I start doing that. Uh, the thing is, they're going to start coming after everyone now that puts up models uh you know disney right now pretty much conquered uh, marvel they're even pulling it out of netflix and all of that stuff so you know they're going to be coming out after people that make iron man helmets and warhammer hel uh, i'm sorry um war machine helmets warhammer helmets war machine helmets and stuff like that and it's going to just make a big portal for all these industries to start attacking independent uh you know uh artists uh, who are making this because they want to make more money selling their merch, you know, their merchandise. Uh, and what they're going to start to do is you're going to start to see a big sweep. And it's it's this is what it leads to. So those of you guys that are like, well, you know what? They stole the idea from this one. They, it's not called stealing. They basically made it even better. But uh, they provided it for the 3D printing world as a service. It's I th And they didn't make any money off of it. I think this is really cool. And to be honest, I don't see anything wrong with that. But again... If they can prove to the court system that it's affecting their sales, okay, let's say a guy, uh, you know, Iron Man helmet, uh, he will say, uh, you know, the Disney will say, well, we're selling Iron Man helmets and now nobody's buying them and I could show it to you because they're building their own. First off, 3D printers are not everywhere. Uh, most, it's still in, really, it's in infancy stages. I don't care what anybody says, it really is. There's still issues with them, uh, you know, especially the regular 3D printers. So, the thing is, for somebody to actually come and say that, they could still, you know, press charges and do stuff. And it just opens up a portal for everybody in the industry to come and attack uh, these artists or even to take it out. And before you know it, we got nothing. And every uh, the only thing we're going to get is we're going to make... Uh, these models and make it, you know, make our own models and print them out. And if we don't know how to do it, we're not, you know, it's actually going to force people to buy models illegally. They're so stupid because that's exactly what's going to happen. As you see already in Etsy, they have uh, Iron Man 
uh, suits that are built for you and you could buy them for $1,500 or whatever that has all the motors or 10000 or whatever the heck they got it for. But basically, that's what it is. It's not pushing people to be able to do it for free. Uh, it's going to have people that are going to start charging money because they're going to see that, well, it's sweep. You can't get these models anywhere, so we're going to take it. And then they're going to attack Etsy, and they're going to take them off the market. Uh, you know, they could call it Iron Dude. And it's funny that Marvel would say that when Stan Lee and pretty much everything in Marvel, is uh, they, it was taken out of... Uh, you know, even DC to some point, but it was taken out of uh, uh, public domain. They basically took every character from public domain and made it their own. Uh, basically the biggest con job ever, con artist. And they stole these ideas and made it their own. Which, And now they're going to, uh, you know, uh, screw over people. Typical corruption 101, really stupid, but whatever, what are you going to do? But this is what I got to say about that. I mean... I, it's really bad for the community, I think, uh, at large. But, again, don't take it out on Thingiverse. Uh, Thingiverse has to do what's for the greater good. They're not going to go to court and be risked at being shut down like emulation sites for emulators, as you saw, Emu Paradise and other places, when they, uh, or Emu Rums, whatever it was called. They were shut down and sued for tons of money, like millions of dollars. Nobody wants that, especially when you're providing a free service for the community. I mean, could you imagine me? I'm making... <clears throat> of prosthetics and stuff for people that need it and I give it to them for free. Can you imagine what's going to happen if they somebody sues me because my prosthetic fingers looked like something from Iron Man or whatever? I don't know what to t what to tell you. You know how horrible that is and then you don't provide that service for free anymore. You can't do a great deed for someone. I mean, this is really pathetic. And to be honest, their tanks look not at all like the ones they use. It looked way better. <laughs> so, I don't understand what the hell the issue was, but again, they're looking for uh, an excuse why they're why their business structure is probably shitty or why they're not, uh, you know, feeding their greed as much as they want to. So they're going and attacking these artists. Uh, but Thingiverse doesn't want to get involved because, again, they have a huge multitude of things that they want to provide for the public uh, as an educational thing. And I'm not blaming Thingiverse, and I hope you guys don't. I hope you guys understand uh, my point of the story here when I'm telling you. But... Um, it is what it is. I mean, you should blame legislation, not Thingiverse. You know, that's exactly what's going on right now. So anyways, let me know. I want to know what you guys think about this. Definitely I'm curious uh, to know. Um, and Zachary, uh, keep fighting the good fight. You're awesome, bro, and really support you in uh, everything that you do. And I hope that you do find something to put it on. It's probably not an atmosphere for your stuff right now, but it definitely is an atmosphere for 3D uh, uh, artists. Uh, they just have to be more weary now to know that other companies are coming after them and all that. But uh, definitely your hard work and your dedication to the community cannot go, you know, unseen or unheard. I definitely appreciate it. Absolutely 100%. But blame the legislation, uh, not Thingiverse. Uh, and definitely it probably isn't a community that you want to be in right now because they'll just take it out, off the thing or threaten a lawsuit against you. So you could uh, figure out probably other ways and means... Uh, to make uh, your stuff, I, I don't know, uh, you know, possible for public access and stuff like that. But uh, definitely this isn't Thingiverse's fault. They were forced into it. Uh, if they got a warrant or whatever, they could go into any site. They've done it to many sites before uh, where they attacked. So this isn't anything new. But this is just opening up a portal for absolute disaster. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, like, subscribe, definitely hit that bell button. As many more independent reviews. This is our channel self-funded here you know our channel keep those requests coming for mini series i will make them give out prizes all that good stuff this is our channel like subscribe hit that bell button as many more videos to come have a good one y'all take care bye as always guys if you like what you see self-funded here be sure to check out all my other uh stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology you know and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it. And I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.